out evil spirits, tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. They were invoking the power and name of Jesus over demons. Seems like it's an all right thing. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and I know about Paul, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. I love that. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. And this is the point. The word Jesus has no power in itself unless you have a relationship with him. These people say, in the name of Jesus, come out. And the demon says, who are you? I'll show you what power looks like. Don't settle for just an empty word. Get a relationship, a deeply personal relationship with the almighty God of the universe. And you'll be so filled with faith, integrity, and power of ideas that you don't need to tack on anything else. And over time, your words by themselves will prove to people that you are who you say you are. And the strength of your character will develop. And over time, people will recognize that you don't need to add anything extra to your speech. Not the least of which is that you honor God with the way you talk and the way you live. One final verse, John 1, 12. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. 